ladies and gentlemen welcome welcome to the encouraging vessel you are very welcome I do hope that your visit to this channel is a blessing to you and it's causing you to stop, think, consider, and thereby move you into taking action as needed. I ask that you share and subscribe to this channel uh, to help the algorithm to move these messages to whomsoever the Lord um, wishes to reach because it's his good pleasure that everyone be saved. Yet when you go through his word, we know not everyone will be, but we don't know who will or who won't. And so with love, we should encourage each other with love, which is one of the commandments we ought to be um, following, we should strive to lead others that are either astray and or are not on the right path. So again, I welcome you to this channel with open arms. And as always, I encourage you to read the Bible. Because that is the word of the living God. That is his word. It is your instruction. And today the, the Father would like me to speak with you about a particular subject. And prior to coming on to here, I've been in conversation with the Lord and I expressed to him my nervousness in speaking on this. Not particularly this subject, but um, when I come to you, I come here with much fear because I don't want to come and say the Lord Jesus says when he hasn't said because my soul is extremely important to me and so I, I, I strive daily to stay on the path am I perfect? no do I fall every now and then? yes but I know who lifts me up and he is the one, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that will lift you up also. And so I'm here with a message and or testimony because the, the Lord, the spirit of truth spoken into my heart saying he does not have a scripture today. And the words were, not like other pastors that goes up there with a scripture and then they talk about it. This is not your office, daughter. That's not what you're doing. So he wants me to bring to remembrance the event that started late 2019 and really blossomed into 2020 and here we are into 2022 thinking we're 
at the end of it. He wants me to talk about the vaccine. And this is the only time I will say the word. He wants me to talk about my experience to encourage you. I don't have a script. And I sat here for a few minutes saying, here I am, Lord. And he says, all you have to do is open your mouth. And that is why I'm speaking with you today. You know, when this all started, many, many were speaking up and against it. Let's call it it. And many were unsure. But I believe the Lord Jesus Christ gives wisdom because this is something I, I, um, I'm in conversation with the Lord with frequently, like I would say weekly, daily asking for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And he does give, and he allows you to know, he allows you to see beforehand. He does. And I'm speaking as a witness and of things that are evidential in my life when I say that. And I'm speaking based on me believing that he is truth and that his word stands sure. So I, re I remember the first time um, this conversation about the it came up. I was at work. And I remember one of the guys mentioned it to me that this is what they're working on. And before it became a controversy, I remember responding to him and saying, well, I'm not going to be partaking in this. Because, and I didn't fully understand from a spiritual standpoint, what I was saying, I was speaking from a scientific, scientific standpoint saying, I'm not going to take this if, and when it comes out, this was prior to it coming out. And then we went into the full shut in. I'm calling it shut in. I believe you're wise enough to understand what I'm saying wherein we started to work from home. And this was an op this was a, an amazing opportunity for me because it allowed me to spend more time in prayer, in conversation with the Father. It allowed me to meditate more. It allowed me to really read the word and be more intentional in my walk. And as this thing was fast tracked and a range of emotions could be seen globally, I remember sitting in my room and I was devastated by what was happening. And I remember crying out to the father. And I, I remember exactly how I was sitting, what was in front of me. And I was remembering this, and I'm remembering the scripture with, um, with Jacob when he had that dream vision and he wrestled with God. And then one of the things he said is, he said, well, what he said was, Lord, I will not let go until you bless me. 
So I remember in my conversation with the father, as I was literally sitting on my bed, as I am sitting now, and I sh literally shut myself in my room, and I was just talking to the Lord, and I said, Father, you said ask anything. And I'm asking you, what is this? What is this? And I repeated it a couple of times and I said, Father, I need to know. And I'm going to repeat the exact words. And I've not, I've not done a video on this because I never thought I should do a video on this. I've not mentioned it to anyone other than my son. Actually, yeah, my son and other and a few other family members I've mentioned it to, but they literally just brushed it off. I remember asking, and as you can hear the sound of my voice in listening to this video, this is what I heard, and I'm sure this is the Father speaking to me. And I have the words in quotes. It is. This is what he said to me because I kept, I asked, I said, what is this, Father? What is this? You know, help me to understand. What is this? Is this the mark? And I repeated the question and I was literally broken when I was asking this question. And as you can audibly hear my voice, and this is the first time, I believe, I heard an audible sound from the Father. The first time. This was in 20, 2020. Yeah, 2020. 2020 or was it early 21, around there. The response was, and it was a commanding response. It wasn't a soft, it's, I was trying to explain it to my son what this, what the sound of the voice was. And I cannot put a, a, a real, put my finger on it. It's kind of like when you have like a bullhorn and you want everyone to hear what you are saying it's kind of the, the the voice was projected like that and he said it is a mark and it's not my mark i repeat it is a mark and it's not my mark that's all that was said to me and that was enough to confirm in my spirit what I had already decided not to do. So, today, the Lord wants me to bring that to you. It was not premeditated because I had not intended on bringing that to you. And I know in 2020, 2021, there were a lot of videos up, a lot of controversy about this. The Father wants you to come to him and ask him. The Lord Jesus says, ask anything in my name. You don't have to listen to me or believe what I say. So the Father is using me to encourage you to come to him. Let's check out what this lady is saying. Let me take it to the Father. Let me set myself aside. Let me read the word and let me ponder on it and let me go to the father 
probably around six or so months ago, I did a video. I don't remember um, the title of it. It's perhaps six or so months ago when I spoke about grace. I'm pretty sure I spoke about grace because the door is still open for repentance. The door is still open for repentance. The door has not been closed. You are still hearing the word. There is no famine of the word yet. And I emphasize yet. So the door of grace is still open. And so the father would like me to, wanted me to bring this to you. So here I am bringing it to you. And this is where I stand. And he encourages you. Whatever your thoughts are. And or your intentions. And or confusion. And or frustration. Jesus Christ is saying bring it to him. Bring it to him. He's able to take what you are saying and he's able to reveal to you. I know I repeat on this channel that Jesus Christ is the revealer. And ladies and gentlemen, this is not mere words. This is me confessing to you with my mouth. That he is the revealer. I encourage you. Because he says you have time. Because he is the one that gives time. And the, the, the fact of the matter is you are hearing his words be through this channel. Or any other truth channels that you are listening to or any other mentors you have in your life. It's time because he's given you time. So again, it is time to take the time that he has given you to pull yourself away from the world. You are in the world but you ought to recognize that you are not of the world. So the time that he has granted you, you have time. This, ladies and gentlemen, should supersede every other events and or activities in your life. And if it does not, it is time to get on your knees and ask the Lord to put fear of him in you. Now I said fear, not being afraid. Many people misinterpret the use of some words. How important is your soul, ladies and gentlemen? I know there are many that think that after they close their eyes to this world that that's the end of it and therewith they don't care what they do. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you today because the spirit of truth is placed in my heart and I do my very best to obey. To speak with you. To encourage you. To stir you up. To remind you. The door of grace is open. Still open. You will know when it is closed. For now, it is still open. 
and he's inviting you, ladies and gentlemen. And I believe this is the third or fourth video that I've done where the Father is inviting. He's inviting you to come to him. Take the time. Take the time to have the conversation with him because you have time. It cannot be, oh, I woke up late and I don't have time. You do not know when you set foot outside your door, in your car, or on public transit. You do not know if you will return. And if you choose not to bring Jesus Christ with you and your breath is required of you, Where will you be? I know this is, I, 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 I know this is hard for some people to hear, but you need to hear this to pull yourself up, to pull up your socks, to pull up your self and straighten yourself and get yourself right with the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I said, he's had me come to you today to remind, to inform, to encourage, to invite. It won't always be like this, ladies and gentlemen. It won't always be like this. I will leave that here now. And I will come back again. Because the Lord has put a lot on my heart. To remind you, to warn you, to encourage you, to invite you, to come to him. Ask him anything, ladies and gentlemen. Ask, request, ask him to help you to see, to help you to understand, to help you to serve him, to help you to love him. Ask him to come with you wherever you go. Ask him. Invite him in your life. Invite him in your home. Ask him. He will dispatch. Ask him to dispatch his angels. Ask him to cover you. Ask him to protect you. Ask him to teach you. And the Lord Jesus Christ, he's not leaving any stones unturned. He's giving you everything that you need. And for those that do not believe that because they do not see, it is time to really have a deep conversation with the Father to help him, sorry, to help you so that he can help you to see with the spiritual eye. Ladies and gentlemen, I conclude with this. Jesus Christ is real. He is truth. And it is him that will return. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is real. Read the word, ladies and gentlemen. Meditate on the words. When you open it, he will make it known to you. I hope these words reach you and you're able to glean some encouragement, wisdom, instructions, and understanding from it. Until I speak with you again, this is The Encourager. Be blessed.